and welcome to another installment of Hanging with Dr. Origami. And today we'll be making an origami fidget toy or origami poppet. This one works with three sheets of paper and it's better if your paper has color on only one side. And it's also better if you make your three pieces like an assembly line. So first, take your pieces and fold them in half diagonally. And as always, the more symmetrical your folds, the better your final product will be. From here, take each piece and fold it in half diagonally in the other direction. So when you're done, you'll have an X on your paper. Next, unfold your paper. You're going to take your top and bottom corner and bring them to the middle. So from here up to here. Then rotate it. And same thing to the middle. Bottom to the middle, and again the other one to the middle. And last one. Next, take each piece, flip it over, then you're gonna take the top and bottom line and bring those to the middle. So then from here up to the middle and then rotate it, same thing, from here to the middle. Again, flip it over. Go to the middle. Rotate it, same thing. And last one. And rotate, same thing. Right. From here, take your left corner you're gonna fold that to where it meets the white on here. So fold it in like so. And then along this diagonal, you're gonna fold this bottom triangle up to the top. So from here up to here. And then you're gonna unfold, and you're gonna tuck it underneath this flap like so. So again, we were here, take your corner and fold it in. So it makes a rectangle on this side. Over this diagonal, you're gonna fold the whole piece over. And then you're gonna unfold it and tuck it inside the flap, like so. And then rotate and do the same thing. So you got the corner in. Fold it over this diagonal. And 
and then unfold it and tuck it inside. Okay. Next piece, same thing. Corner in. Fold over the diagonal. And then unfold and tuck it in. Rotate under 80 degrees, same thing. Take your corner, tuck it in. Fold it over this diagonal. And then unfold it, lift the top up and tuck it in. And then last piece, same thing. Take your corner, Fold it in. Fold it over this diagonal. And then unfold it and tuck it in. And last one. Again, tuck it in to the middle. Fold it over the diagonal. Then unfold it and tuck it in. Next, if you cover up your triangles, you have this square in the middle. You're gonna fold from the top left to the bottom right. So on this diagonal right here. So fold it like so. And it'll make a trapezoid for that shape. And then unfold it. And then focusing on the square again, you're going to fold from the bottom left to the top right. So fold it diagonally this way. And unfold. So again, next piece, you have your square in the middle, from the top left to the bottom right. So fold here. And unfold. And then bottom left to top right. And unfold. And last piece, same thing. Give a square in the middle. From top left to bottom right. Unfold. And then bottom left to top right. Unfold. Then the last fold we do is the same thing on the other side. So flip it over. Again, you have your square in the middle. Again, from top left to bottom right. Fold. Unfold that. And then bottom left to top right. Fold. And unfold. That's one. Again, flip it over from top left to bottom right. Unfold and then bottom left to top right. And unfold and last piece and flip it over from top left to bottom right. And unfold and then bottom left to top right. And unfold. So that's all the folds. Next is the assembly. So first I'll start with my red piece, flip it over to this side, take my blue piece. Here's your middle line. You're gonna go over this right side and under this left side. So again, taking your blue piece, you go over this right side and then under the left side. So again, from here, over the right and under the left, like so. And again, this is blue into red. So we're gonna flip it over. Bring this triangle on the red toward you and this 
side on the balloon toward you as well. Again, on the other side, we went blue into red. Now we're gonna go red. It's gonna go over this side, left, and under the side on the right. So again, red into blue, over the left, and under the right, like so. So when you have it, you have opposite corners facing outward. So again, one more time, we started here. We're gonna go over the right and under the left. So go from here to here, and that's blue into red. Flip it over. Now we're gonna have red into blue. Red's gonna go over this left and under this right. Like so. And now you have one facing up to the left and one facing down to the right. Now with your yellow piece, you're gonna go yellow into red. So if you rotate it like this, it's gonna go over the right and under the left. So from here into here, and then flip the whole thing over. Now we're gonna go yellow into blue. Again, we're gonna go over your left and under your right. So from here to here. So now this way be like so. Again, that last step again. We started here. Turning it this way, going to go over your right and under your left. So from here to here. Then flip the whole thing over. Now you're gonna go over your left and under your right into here. And back to where we started. Then the last two, red and the yellow. So if here's your vertical line, it's gonna go over the left and under the right. So from here into here. And the last one with the blue and the yellow, it's gonna go over the right and under the left. So from here to here. So again, that last step one more time. We were here. You have your vertical line in the middle. For the red, you're gonna go over the left and under the right. So from here into here. And then for the blue and the yellow, we're gonna go over the right and under the left. So from here to here. Then bring everything toward the middle. And you should see alternating colors. Then if you hold it like this, if you push in on your midpoints, so here between yellow and red, here between yellow and blue, and here between red and blue, if you Push them toward the middle. Okay. It'll collapse. And then if you push the top and the bottom together, it'll pop out. So again, take your midpoints and push them toward the middle. It'll collapse. Then you push the bottom, and it'll pop out. And one more time. In the middle, and then squeeze together. And that is an origami poppet. This has been Hang With Dr. Origami. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe below. And I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.